Now to the latest on the presidential transition. Overnight, Georgia's recount has confirmed Joe Biden's win, and both the president-elect and some Republicans are now stepping up their criticism of President Trump, while his team continues to challenge the outcome of the race. Here's NBC's Peter Alexander. This morning, President Trump is intensifying his efforts to overturn the results of the election he lost. After Georgia overnight announced its hand recount reaffirmed President-elect Biden's narrow victory there. Those results expected to be certified today. President Trump, in an extraordinary move, is set to host Republican state lawmakers from Michigan that he invited to the White House. The Trump campaign is focused on Michigan as it seeks to stop the state from certifying the count, where Biden leads by more than 150,000 votes. We've won Michigan. It's going to be certified. When asked, Biden denounced the president's actions as outrageous. It's hard to fathom how this man thinks. He will go down in history as being one of the most irresponsible presidents in American history. The Trump campaign has openly floated the idea of trying to get Republican-controlled state legislatures to appoint pro-Trump electors who would go against the will of the voters. But Michigan's top Republican lawmaker has said any effort to overturn the state's election results is not going to happen, a message backed up by the state's governor. We've had a free, fair, and secure election. We need to respect the will of the people and we need to certify these results. Still, the president has personally tried to intervene, calling two GOP canvassing board members who reluctantly certified results for Biden in Michigan's largest county that includes Detroit. The next day, the two board members tried to rescind that certification, but state officials said it would stand. One of the board members telling NBC News the president did not urge her to change her vote. All of it is President Trump's attorney, Rudy Giuliani, in a bizarre news conference baselessly alleged an unproven nationwide conspiracy of voter fraud in large Democratic cities. I know crimes. I can smell them. You don't have to smell this one. I can prove it to you 18 different ways. But there's no evidence of widespread voter fraud, and Giuliani, visibly sweating, provided no verified proof. The answer is I can't do it because I can't. I can't put a witness's life in jeopardy. Overnight, Republican Senators Mitt Romney and Ben Sass both distressed, releasing statements. Romney writing, it's difficult to imagine a worse, more undemocratic action by a sitting American president. Sass also pointing out that the Trump legal team has not alleged fraud in courts because there are legal consequences for lying to judges. Adding wild press conferences erode public trust. We are a nation of laws, not tweets. Now